Hello, my name is Sarah and welcome to Something Shakespeare. Uh, today, today is the 29th of March 2023 and I'm going to talk about Julius Caesar. I went to see it last night at the Royal Shakespeare Company in Stratford-upon-Avon. Julius Caesar, that's not easy for me to say, <laughs> um, is the second play in this year's season of Power Shifts. Uh, the previous one being The Tempest with Alex Kingston and this one is Julius Caesar from here. It goes into Cymbeline, As You Like It and then Macbeth in the Autumn. So as it was, I was a little late getting into the theatre so I didn't have the usual time to take take the stage in. But that was okay because there wasn't a great deal of set. The, the stage towards the back, there was a very large cube that had some musicians standing at the top and this cube throughout the performance rotated um, to reveal uh, an office partitions uh, and a stairwell which then was used later on in the, in the performance. So the production started uh, with the soothsayer coming out with the community chorus uh, and it went into uh, a contemporary abstract dance with the entire company apart from the community chorus um, and that went on for a, it felt like it looked like about seven minutes six minutes uh, and then I've got to be very honest <laughs> I've got to be very honest um, I have to be honest once the sound went quiet I became aware that I could hear some music that wasn't uh, wasn't normal and I think sounded like somebody's phone was going off as if uh, some music app had been switched on by accident and that continued from where I was I could hear it for about 15-20 minutes and I wasn't fully engaged with the opening of the production uh, until that music stopped because it was very distracting and I can only commend the actors for their focus because when the theatre goes fully quiet and you can hear music that is just awful and I mean I've had my phone go off in a theatre before and it's the most mortifying thing um, uh, but for your phone to, to not be aware that your phone ma is making music for 20 minutes is just just horrendous and I'm I was quite surprised that the ushers didn't jump on that faster actually. So going back to the production, uh, on this cube, one side of the cube's wall was used as a projection screen uh, and which had a very, again, um, had clouds bubbling away um, or flowers growing and dying on high speed sort of thing. My fear previously uh, knowing what the RSC are striving to do to reduce their waste in the theatre. Um, I, um, one of the things that I was concerned about was what was going to be with the costumes. Um, I didn't know anything about the production before going hand as as far as um, how, how they were going to do it in short of, I knew that they'd got a lot more female, that you know gender swapped quite a few of the characters, that's absolutely no problem. Um, but the costumes on this occasion were lacking massively for me because there was no um, there was no hierarchy in the costumes. Uh, it was contemporary set, um, but even Julius Caesar kind of looked like your uncle that had just rocked up at a barbecue, you know, and taken his tie up. He wore like a lemon coloured shirt, um, so there was no distinction really in who who these characters were. And it was only in the second half when um, the costumes of the characters that had died ch had changed. Um, so they appeared in very clean and very bright colourful clothing, making it look like this, they were in an afterlife that was great. It just looked very... It looked like somebody had rum, you know, rummaged in a, in a charity shop and just picked out these clothes. Uh, and it added nothing to the performance for me. Uh, you know, Julius Julius does not have to be uh, doesn't have to be an all singing or all, all dancing toga show. But it just it just lacked that striking presence for me, um, which is a shame. Um, you know, and that is a worry. And I'm now going to be holding my breath. I really don't want to see this coming into every future performance at the RSC. Um, you know, looking when you see what has been done in the past, uh, it's a shame that they're gonna, if they're gonna lose that, I, I really am worried. Obviously, it's like you can probably tell from my voice that I wasn't really overly enthused by the, um, 
by the, the by the set by by the costumes even the music as well just was just background noise in places so I had a, uh, the soprano that was singing she was excellent she got some wonderful voice there um, but all in all it's just like eh, okay I'm I'm not particularly overwhelmed by this. The performance, performances were solid. Um, there could have been a little bit more care given into some of the delivery of speeches. You know, I, I didn't feel like I wanted to get up and run after Mark Antony and join his cause. Uh, the, one of the previous performances I've seen of um, of Julius Caesar was the, the last time they did the Rome season, which I think is 2017. Um, and I remember just being absolutely in love with that production so maybe i'm seeing it you know seeing that through rose tinted glasses but i i remember cassius giving giving his it's my birthday speech and the audience there was like almost this gasp of sympathy and heartbreak as this character revealed that how revealed to us that he was going to die on the day that he was born you felt the audience just go oh pretty much missed that line last night which I, is really sad and so the take on on the delivery could have been a bit more careful for my liking. I didn't at all mind the gender swapping of the characters um they were they were, were well I didn't mind the gender swapping of the characters they were well performed however there were times again where the costumes didn't support them so in the second half when they came in for um when they are meant to be losing this military war there was nothing to actually tell you apart from the dialogue that these people were now at war they were still wearing the same costumes that they wore in the first half um they they were still covered in the the blood um of of caesar which i kind of liked that that kind of had this kind of you know it's almost like the 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 spot of blood on Lady Macbeth's hand, the one that won't come out, they're still covered in the blood of their crime that, that they've murdered that, this man and they're now living with the consequences of, of that. Um, but it would have just been nice to believe that these people were now at war. Uh, the final speech between this, this, the, the final um, dialogue between Cassius and Brutus was really touching. I believed their relationship, um, but I think it overall, the performance could have just been given a little bit more lift to it. It's still a solid production enough, you know, and if you like Julius Caesar, then crack on. This production will be going on tour, so you'll be able to see it locally uh, throughout the country. Let's tell you where they're going. So Julius Caesar is going to be at Stratford upon Avon until the 8th of April and then it will be going on tour. It will be um, going to Canterbury, Cornwall Truro, Bradford, uh, Newcastle, uh, Newcastle, um, Blackpool, Nottingham, my hometown, um, Norwich, York and Salford. Uh, so I, I will be going to see this production again when it comes to Nottingham. I want to see how they do it on a on a normal normal stage um and I, before i finish i should probably talk a little bit more about uh the community chorus so the community chorus is something that's, that has been initiated uh, as an outreach project as an outreach project and when the production goes on tour there will be a different community chorus in each area all of these um members of the chorus have been invited uh, by the RSC to be a part of this uh, and they are all leaders and hopefully uh, so leaders in, in whatever their field is whether it be management politics um, charity work and and whatever else now in comparison to the previous times that they've done community outreach things so looking back at 2016 when they did Midsummer Night's Dream they recruited the mechanicals from amateur dramatic companies locally to then being the rebels in Henry the uh, what well, in Henry the Sixth, um, who were just in a couple of scenes, two scenes I think it was, and then that was their bit done. Um, whereas in this one, there's just a handful of times in which these community chorus come on and be a presence with the soothsayer. It'll be interesting to see how that develops as well um particularly between now and what i will see in uh towards the end of may when it comes to nottingham 
so I am I, I will I am looking forward to seeing this and last time I saw the RSC on the road I really enjoyed that and that was just before the lockdown so I did take a, a little uh, little visit into the shop my trip to Stratford will never be the same without going into the shop to spend some more money uh, they have a, a new t-shirt for the, this production these these productions so in the past they've like had a t-shirt for each show with a, maybe a quote on or something. I must admit, my Love Labour's one Hey Nonny Nonny t-shirt was my favourite for years. And this one here, you've got um, a black t-shirt which has the Royal Shakespeare Company Stratford upon it, Yvonne. January to October 2023. Shakespeare 2023. And if I just stand up and try and show you in the, this bottom corner, in this bottom corner, you've got the first letter of, uh, so you've got Tempest, uh, it's Julius Caesar, Cymbeline, as you like it, and Macbeth, I had to think there. I kind of think they look a little bit like the Matilda letters. Um, and then on the back, they've got all the names of the shows as well. And a bit more. Uh, all the names of the dates of the shows and the names. So uh, that is £25 in the Royal Shakespeare shop and if you're a member um, or anything like that then you can get your discount on that. And then there's the programme. So if I could sum up this, this production as a whole, I would feel it felt experimental in places, it definitely felt abstract, contemporary abstract. Um, you're either going to love it or hate it, don't go in expecting old school JC. It laboured in parts. I actually I enjoyed the second half more than the first half, particularly when the when the costumes did start to change. It just shaped, shook it up a little bit visually. As I kind of always want to say, I still think go and see it. You know, it is still worth going to to see and have an opinion of it. And uh, I think that's probably about as much as I've got to say on it. Okay, uh, let me know what you thought if you've been to see it. Um, did you love it? Did you hate it? Are you on the fence? What do you think? The, where do you think the RSC is going to go in the future? In the meantime, I shall, I shall sign off and look forward to talking to you again uh, soon, hopefully maybe to review a book. Okay, take care guys, bye bye.